I think what happens is um, a company has all this money in the bank. And then the bank um, doesn't even have to have a certain amount of money in the bank in order to make loans. And they make short-term loans, like in the Fed, is, is it in the repo market? I don't know. And then Bank of New York, Mellon is involved. And I'm not going to explain it because I don't understand banking as much as I'd like to. But what I do know is that the banks make a ton of money by even making short, um, short-term short loans to the government. But the banks um, are dependent on certain people having money in the bank um, because they at least have to have um, a percentage of that money. And I think the banks get really nervous when they're watching certain people make very large uh, withdrawals from, from their bank. Um and then that can cause stress on the banks. But the real stress comes from everyone trying to, okay, show each other their dick in the stock market. Like, I am so powerful. Look at look at how special I am. I can have such a high value. Because Amazon has said, I'm going to take over every type of business. I'm going to be a medical supply company. I'm going to be an AI company. I'm going to do self-driving cars. I'm going to do operating systems. I'm going to do television. I'm going to, I'm going to control your TV. I'm going to, I'm going to control the media you watch. I'm going to be a book company. I'm going to control your books. Um, well, or the books that are available to you. I, I'm going to be a, what, what other things does Amazon do? I'm going to be, um, your marketplace for all, all transactions. Um, and, and I'm going to, um, also be in charge of all the computers, like the mat, the server business. I'm going to, I'm going to get everyone in, um, that has a has a computer has an internet website. I'm gonna host it, and then I'm gonna have all that data. But the problem is when Amazon shows itself as as a group of hackers that are breaking the law, that thinks it's above the law, and then it's also having extreme monopoly like tendencies. Because you have to think back back in the the tech days when everyone was saying Microsoft hasn't has a monopoly over operating systems, and they like literally got sued by the government, I think, by the, by the Justice Department, what what would that monopoly compare to Amazon? There is no comparison. Amazon has grocery stores. They own Whole Foods. They have the Washington Post. And don't worry, the Washington Post is letting us all know that Pete Buttigieg won and Bernie Sanders got second. But for some reason, we're missing 11 delegates in the count. But 100% are reporting, but you're missing 11 delegates. Where are the delegates? And so this guy's in charge of all that. And then he has all these lobbyists in Washington, D.C. And then he's doing all this hacking and he's spying on all these people. And then what he doesn't understand the entire time is your ego makes you want to have such a high valuation. But you don't you didn't understand your valuation was a Ponzi scheme. And now you're going to like put stress on the entire United States economy because you, you didn't think about the way that you were valuing your company because you were trying to prove that you're the same as everyone else, but you're not the same as everyone else. You're bigger than everyone else from, from a value perspective. And that's the thing about like comparing Facebook to Amazon. You're, you're, you got like an $800 billion difference. Um, it, it's, it's hard to explain like how big of a difference that is. Like Amazon is a lot of Facebooks because Amazon is such a monopoly now. But the big problem is Jeff Bezos has proven that he's not trustworthy and that he is bent on world domination along with Mark Zuckerberg. Like they have, they have team, it's a team effort. And for some of us, we have seen it and we're like, all right, like, I feel like you're necessary because they are, but um, is it necessary that you're in charge or is it necessary that your type of business exists? And I, I, I don't think it's necessary that you exist, especially because you have proven yourself not to be trustworthy. So, I mean, I, I feel like Microsoft Azure is actually probably easier anyways. But all I'm saying is, um, this is this is when you find out that your company's done. And, like, I'm sorry, but, like, I, 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 I was the one that was saying, I don't agree with all these people that we need to destroy these tech companies by having, because I knew that taxing them that much would, would, would destroy them. That's what Andrew Yang's plan was, destroy the tech companies. And I didn't agree with destroying them, but I agree with destroying people that are doing all this illegal hacking. So that's when it's like, sorry, you deserve it.